A crime alert tonight. A North Little Rock woman in shock tonight after finding two of her cat's limbs cut off and laid out in the woods behind her home. She's filed a police report with the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office hoping to catch the person responsible. Our Claire Kreitz spoke with her tonight and shows us how she's coping. That's the left over my cat. These tufts of hair are all that's left of Erica Craig's tabby cat, Chester. You don't believe it? You're in shock? Just two weeks ago, he went missing. It was heartbreaking. A couple days later, Craig got a call from a neighbor saying they found her cat's remains in the woods behind her property. When she went to check it out, she couldn't believe what she saw. The leg and then the tail and then the leg and then Chester's skull was right there at the base of it. Her cat had been mutilated. I started Googling what kind of animal doesn't eat certain parts or what kind of animal doesn't bury what's left over. At first, she assumed it was another animal, but about a week later. Another cat of mine was here one minute. I was outside with them. I went in to do something, come back out, and I couldn't find them anymore. She went back into the woods and tells me what she found next. It was like a scene out of a horror film. As soon as I seen that second one out there, I knew, I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is not an animal. Cat number two found in the exact same condition. I don't know why somebody would do that. She called the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, filing this report. They said they didn't have any leads or anything to go by. Now she is locking all her animals inside. Tell me you love me. And holding them tight. I worry about them every single day, like every minute of every day. Are you hungry? 